By popular demand, today we will cook the red velvet cake. It is very chic and beautiful cake. And you can feel free to serve it for any occasion. Cooking will be simple and easy. The recipe is in the description box. It is not my recipe. I took it from Andy Chef. For me, this is a new cake. I do not often cook it and I'll try to point out some important stuff. I will share my experience with you. So we need usual flour, sugar, cocoa, salt, baking powder, soda and food red dye. The fattest kefir, I'll use 3.2% one, dairy cream of 33% fat, sunflower oil and 3 eggs. When I cooked the cake for the first time, I used the dry dyes, but they didn't deliver the bright red color. The cake must be bright red saturated color, but one cannot achieve it with dry dyes. And not all gel dyes would suit us. It is necessary to take expensive dyes such as red red and super red. This is not advertising, but just a recommendation. Super red does not give such a deep red color, so it's better to take a red red. It will deliver perfect bright red color. This cake will be eaten by children, so choose the brand of gel dye of the safest series. When I added the dry dyes or cheap gel ones, the cake was either brown of cocoa or dirty red color, but not bright red. Use both kefir and heavy cream so that to make it as fat as possible. You can take dairy cream or sour cream or just kefir but it all should be of a maximum fat content. 200 grams of kefir and 80 grams of dairy cream to increase the fat content all together will be 280 grams. Don't think that there is too much sunflower oil. It all goes into the dough. Let's get started. First of all, sift all the bulk products. Do it twice. We start with the flour. Add cocoa there. A quarter teaspoon of fine salt. I have a measuring spoon. If you do not, use a teaspoon measuring by eye. Baking powder and baking soda. Be sure to check the expiration date of soda. It should be fresh. Otherwise, the cake will not rise. You shouldn't use the same pack of soda during two years. It's important when buying soda and baking powder in a store, be sure to pay attention to the expiration date. Overdue soda can be used for cleaning and washing of tableware and surfaces, but not for baking. The dough will not rise. Sift all again right in the mixer bowl.
add sugar, dairy cream and kefir to the flour. Then add sunflower oil all at once. Crack there are three eggs of room temperature and two teaspoons of dye. Beat all at medium speed for four to five minutes. What a beautiful color! Let the dough stay for five minutes. Take a split mold for a cake with a diameter of 20 cm. It would be better if you have several of them. I have one mold, for they are not too cheap. The bottom is to be covered with parchment and slightly sprinkled with flour. The sides of the mold should be also greased with a sunflower oil. Actually, if your parchment is of good quality, you can refrain from greasing it. Don't use too much oil, just spread small amount of it with a brush. A small trick. Do not bake this cake in a multi-cooker, use the oven instead. Multi-cooker delivers very porous cakes with big holes. It doesn't look good. And the cream is distributed unevenly. The taste, of course, is delicious, for the recipe is the same. Make two layers. If you've got only one mold, bake them one by one. Preheat the oven for 340 degrees and bake the layers for 20 minutes. If you do not have a thermometer, just watch your cake and make sure that it's not burnt. It turns out that one layer takes about 650 to 700 grams of dough, but you can separate it by eye. I'm weighting it on scales to divide the dough into two equal parts. I've measured it, it's 664 grams for one layer. Transfer the dough to the oven for 20 minutes Check the readiness with a wooden stick. Turn the ready layer over in a grid, so that it cools down. Similarly, do it all with a second layer. The layers have raised with some asymmetrical top, but it's ok. Cut out the upper side of each layer, leaving them only 1.5 cm high. Of cut caps we will make crumbs for topping. Put aside the lower layers. Now we'll work with the tops. Firstly, crumble a soft part of it. Put the crumbs into a separate bowl. The layers should be cold. All remaining crust is to be blended. But you can blend all the top layers at once, if that's more comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. 
What beautiful and smooth crumbs we've got! You will hardly do it by hand. Now we'll cook the cream and we'll combine it all together. Take 100 grams of sugar powder, 100 grams of butter of 82%. It has to be very soft. I use soft cheese Philadelphia. You can cook it yourself. Watch the video on my channel. Philadelphia can be replaced by a soft cream cheese, but the taste will be different. Please pay attention that the cheese should be cold. Do not take it out of the fridge until the last moment. There is also a secret on how to make cream white. First, beat butter for 2-3 minutes without interruption at a high speed. Add 100 grams of powdered sugar. and mix it for another 1-2 minutes. The cream is now snow white, very beautiful. And only after that we add the cheese. Within 2-3 to three minutes beat everything together with the cheese. The cream is ready. It is snow white and keeps its shape very well. Take a culinary bag or an ordinary bag where you can cut the corner. Put all the cream in the bag in order to spread it over the cake evenly. Cut the corner of the bag and squeeze the cream on the cake. Keep the distance of 5 mm from the edge. Level the top a bit in order to get rid of air bubbles. Top it with the second layer. Take any board, put it on top and slightly press it by hand. Remove it. What an even cake! Cover the top and the sides with a thin layer of cream. It is not necessary to make it perfectly even, because we will sprinkle everything with the crumbs on the top and on the sides. Press it a bit. It looks so nice on all the sides. The remaining crumbs can be used for potato cakes. Watch the recipe of them on my channel. Or you can sculpture them and decorate this cake. But actually the cake looks quite attractive on its own. Transfer the cake in the fridge for at least 2 hours. I left it in the fridge for a night. Here is how it looks like on the inside. See, it's just like velvet. Moreover, it has very tender and velvety taste. It does not require any impregnation as it is humid itself. The cake looks very elegant, rich and extremely effective. 
I'll tell you some more tricks of cooking, in particular how to replace the dough ice if you don't want to use them. Let's try it! Mmm, a delicious cake, a delicate cake, a juicy cake, very delicious cream. This cream of Philadelphia cheese is best suited for this cake. When I cook it for the first time, I dread that this is a red cake with chocolate flavor. But when we tried it, there was no chocolate taste. If you want to feel the taste of chocolate, let it stay overnight in the fridge. Then you try and realize that there is some chocolate or cocoa in the cake. In no case impregnate the layers, they are very soft by themselves. The cream brings out the softness and humidity, so no need to use other impregnation. The top crumbs are soft and just melt in the mouth. It's the velvet cake indeed! Now about dyes. Of course, a bright red color might scare someone. Or you may not want to give the dyes to your child. Then do not add them. Instead, take not one, but three tablespoons of cocoa or white chocolate. Then it will be not red velvet, but chocolate or white milk. Thus, it is possible to get out of the situation and to cook the velvet cake for holidays. You can make not a big cake, but several small portioned ones. Or it can be red, small, portioned cupcakes. I have the recipe on my channel. Watch the video. Very tasty cupcakes, though red. Thank you for being with me today. Bon appétit! Watch and like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Write comments and have nice holidays. Bye-bye.